I don't have the money, time, or energy to enjoy my life outside of work. I don't know what to do about it anymore, you know? I'm so tired. Which side are you on? Which side are you on? This, uh, uh, TikTok about the 40-hour week and how it's bullshit. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. We shouldn't have to work 40 hours in a week. And if we are going to act, if we're going to do the 40 hour work week, the nine to five thing, then we should actually only work 40 hours in a week because everybody who works a nine to five or, or works 40 hours in a week knows that actually, you know, you're not only losing 40 hours, you're losing um, all of the time that it takes to get ready for work. You're losing all the time that it takes to drive to work. You're losing right. all of the time uh, it takes to eat lunch because most people don't have paid lunches. You're losing all the time that it takes to get home. And then you're losing all of the time that it takes to decompress and not feel like crap, right? I mean, so uh, the idea that the 40 hour work week is just that, Everybody knows who actually has a job, a real job, knows that that's BS. Um, and yet, you know, people like Matt Walsh try to pretend that, oh, this is a 40 hour work week is so great. And everybody who complains about it is a big fat baby. Um, and so as we're going to going to respond to that, uh, but let's play the TikTok that Matt Walsh is responding to. Uh, and then we'll give our reaction to the TikTok and then and then we'll see how, what Matt, Matt Walsh has to say. Let's play this. Why is it that I have to work 40 hours a week just so I can have a place to live? 40 hours a week makes me $2,000 a month and my rent is 1660. So I work 40 hours a week so I can have a two bedroom apartment and an extra $300 a month. Like, doesn't cover my phone, internet, food, you know? So not only do I not have any extra money, but just working makes me so exhausted that I don't have time either. Like I get off work at 5.30, come home and I'm just so tired. I'm so tired that like, Anything that I need to do outside of work, I then just push off to like the weekend and I'm like, I'm just too tired to do this after work. I'll wait until Saturday. So then I end up with so much to do on the weekend that ends up having to be split into two days. So I have to do stuff on both Saturday and Sunday. So then I don't get a day off. I don't get a day to relax. I don't get to decompress. So it is really like working seven days a week constantly and I, I don't want to do that anymore right like i don't care how poor and miserable i would have to be but i literally can't have a place to live without this you know like i don't know what to do i'm not i'm not made for this i don't have the money so. time or energy to enjoy my life outside of work and i don't know what to do about it anymore you know i'm so tired Hey, five seconds. Just wanted to say that this is only possible because of our donors. If you want to see more of this, then consider donating yourself at tvlr.fm slash donate. So there you go. <clears throat> um, the I mean, that's a I mean, that's a really powerful, you know, statement on our society, right? 40 hours a week for $2,000 a month, that's $24,000 a year. Now, presumably she's talking about just her net pay there. So maybe, maybe she's, I mean, she's not making any more than 15 bucks an hour. There's no way that you're bringing home that little money and only making, and, and making $15 an hour at gross, right? Um, and so the fact that any, anybody has to work, you know, 40 hours in a week, and you're only able to take home $24,000 in a year. I mean, that is really the fundamental problem. And conservatives are going to, you know, 
point to, they're going to look at that and they're going to try to nitpick this or that thing and they'll say, well, you shouldn't have a two bedroom apartment. You should pay less for rent. Uh, you should uh, just make more money. You should get a better paying job. Uh, you should go and get skills. Or, you know, on the really retrograde end, they're going to say, uh, you should marry somebody and get in the kitchen because that's what, uh, you know, that's what you're made for. Actually, you're not meant to, you're not meant to, you know, be a productive member of society or, or to do what you want to do. Uh, you're not meant to go out and, and, you know, work if you want to work or, or make that decision for yourself, you know, because staying at home, if that is your decision is an empowering decision, I think, and is a, and would be a beneficial one for society for either the man or the woman or, you know, in, in homosexual couples, one or the other doing it uh, would be beneficial for society. But, you know, that's not the way that society is set up. But people should have that choice. Right. And she's saying that she doesn't have that choice um, and she doesn't make enough money to have a good life and to, um, you know, to, to be comfortable, right? I mean, that's not, she's not, not asking for a lot, um, just to be able to have a decent place to live and to, uh, you know, to have some time where she can enjoy her life. And if you work 40 hours a week, quote unquote, that really does take away a lot of your time to do anything else. And so a lot of people are feeling demoralized by the way that our society has set up working time. Um, and, you know, I saw somebody say on Twitter that, you know, part of it could be the fact that, you know, in service jobs, we are meant to do on top of the manual labor and the actual productive work that we're doing. We're, we're meant to uh, do this emotional labor on top of that. You know, you can be a grumpy asshole coal miner, right? but you can't be a grumpy asshole grocery store worker. Right. That's just you, that's not part of the job. You've got to put on this cheery facade. And so that takes effort. Right. If you spend eight hours a day pretending that you're happy. That that's labor. That is work. And it's difficult. Right. And so it's going to drain people at the end of the day. Um, and so the obvious response to that should be. Should be. You deserve more. Right? You deserve more. Your life shouldn't be this difficult or this void of meaning and socialization and community and free time. You I mean, deserve more. You deserve more power to make these decisions over your life and to make those decisions in community with your fellow workers and people in uh, th th that your neighbors with. That should be the answer, right? That's the answer that, that makes sense. But that's not the answer that conservatives have. The, the answer that conservatives have, which I hope that, you know, they just continue with this. And, it, and it's actually very funny because it's very similar to the arguments that liberals have been making for the past couple of months as people felt, you know, the, the economic indicators uh, were that people were feeling like the economy isn't good. And liberals were just going on about like, oh, you don't understand the numbers. The economy is actually really great. You're just too stupid to understand that, right? <laughs> and um, and so now, you know, people are – some of these TikToks are being made and some of them are going viral and, and getting dunked on by conservatives. And they're doing like the same thing, the same thing. And here's what Matt Walsh had to say on Twitter. Honestly, boggles my mind that so many people think 40 hours of work a week is a lot. That leaves you at least five or six waking hours a day during the week to yourself and two full days on the weekend. How much more free time do you really think you should have? And the idea that, you know, five or six waking hours a day during the week to yourself, that's not actually really my experience. That's not my experience. I don't know what other people have of a 40 hour work week, but I don't I don't get five or six hours a day where I can just literally do whatever I want. There's other stuff. I have other commitments or my time is being cam cannibalized by work or, um, you know, I have to do work around the house or whatever. Like you don't actually get five or six hours, even that to yourself. But the original demand was eight hours for work, eight hours for rest and eight hours for what you will. Now he's decreasing it to five or six hours. 
Of course, the reason you see women in these videos so often is that most women don't actually want to work professional careers at all, but they've been pushed this direction by society. But even so, we should be clear that taking care of children will mean working more than 40 hours a week. A lot more. Life is work no matter how you slice it. Suck it up and deal with it. So there you go. Very inspiring message from conservatives about how your life shouldn't be better. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's wild that, uh, you know. But well, there, there's a reason that the conservative economic um, philosophy is not popular. Last I checked, we were Americans, which mm -hmm. was supposed to mean life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yep. Um, doesn't sound like that's happening. You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project. And you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm.